Welcome to In Concert, and the man who's kicking it all off for us for this series is Paul Weller. Um, how are you? Good, thanks. Yeah. You must be feeling really good because this album has done all right. Yeah, it has done well, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, these days I sort of judge uh, success on, on people sort of talking favourably or positively about it, and I've had lots of that, so I'm happy. Did you instinctively know, though? Did you have that gut feeling that this... No, not at all, no. But you, I never know that. I never know what people are going to like or not like. It's impossible to predict that. So you just make it and make what you feel is right at the time, and then the rest of it's up to people to decide. It's a nice bonus, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. And how did you choose who to work with on this album? Well, there's people like Conor O'Brien from Villagers and Erlen Cooper, who both uh, co-wrote some songs with me on the album. And they're both people I really wanted to work with. I love their work. And I think also they're great lyricists and poets. Um, so I wanted to work with both of them. I'm a big fan of both of their music. You're performing tonight with a, a very special setup. So who will you have down there on the stage behind us? What's going to be happening? Uh, well, I'll, I'll have my band, my usual band. And then we've got strings and woodwind, brass, harp player. It's like a 20 piece orchestra, something like that. And <laughs> we're doing obviously a lot of songs uh, from the new album because it's kind of that way. It's more acoustic and orchestrated. And then we've got, we're also doing some old songs as well. Uh, 60, 40 folks. Uh, we're doing some old songs to... Uh, we thank you. With, um, with that kind of arrangement. And tonight is quite special, isn't it? Because with this album... Every night's special. Yeah, but this night tonight is special. You did the Royal Festival Hall, and this was probably one of the last times, or the last time it's you were doing it. It's the last time we were doing it, I guess, yeah. Which we get some amazing offer, which is unlikely. But yeah, it'd be the last time we played tonight with the orchestra and, and doing this kind of set. And there was a point where I wasn't sure whether we'd sort of bit off more than we could chew. How do you mean? What, the, what was the challenge? Well, it's just a different a way of playing for us because uh, it's not every day you play with an orchestra, whereas normally with our electric set, we kind of we have a lot of different sort of music going on amongst that. But we also get a chance just to fly and not have to think about things too much, you know? Yeah. And this album feels quite reflective, true, true meanings. I mean, you, you released it in your 60th year. Yeah. Um, and was that intentional? I don't know how it works, really, because it was kind of, I just felt more reflective anyway, I guess, coming up to such a monumental uh, birthday. So I guess I'm not really that sort of person, you know, I'm not particularly nostalgic or reflective, but I thought if I got, if I ever allow myself to be that way, it's kind of fair enough in my 60th year. And why or how does it feel significant to be 60? What, how, well, I'm just amazed I got here. I'm just, I'm just amazed that I've got here, to be honest, and, uh, and I feel very blessed that I did. I think it's given me a wider and greater appreciation of all I've got and all I've achieved and others have helped me achieve. And, uh, which is no bad thing, you know. I think there's that kind of arrogance of youth, you know. I didn't always appreciate those things, simple little things in life, but... Uh, like what? Uh, waking up. <laughs> Just waking up and thinking, that's good, I'm still alive. And, uh, you know, they kind of mean more to you. To be able to still play music after all these years, you know. Obviously, when I started out, I had no idea how long it would last for. I thought it would all be over by the time I was 25, but it wasn't, and I'm, so I feel very, very lucky. There was a recent poll on Twitter and they were saying, which band would you want to reform? Would it be the Jam or Style Council? And the, the public spoke. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just asking on behalf of... What, what, what was the fans outcome? Of Paul Weller. I think the Jam was the... Uh, was it was it? Like something like 83%. Wow. What would it be for you? Uh, I, I wouldn't enter into a poll like that. Not, not at all. I'm enjoying what I'm doing at the moment. Thank you.